Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer. I'll be talking to you today about holsters. There's several different out there, so we're just gonna skim the top of it. First of all, there's several different levels of holsters. There's level one, level two, and level three style holsters. Most commonly seen in your average person to come into their store would be looking for a level one or a level two. Level three is usually used by law enforcement. Your level one holsters are going to be your standard gravity hold, friction hold holsters that don't have any act actual straps or buttons to open them up. A level two holster would be something that's going to have a thumb brake, such as a strap that's going to hold it secure, whereas it's not going to fall out. Also, there's an active retention where there's a button where a natural draw finger is on these here, or there's some that also have your thumb brake there. A level three is going to be by law enforcement where not only will they have a strap or a button, they will be sort of a trick holster where you have to use another method whether it's pushing or pulling the firearm or twisting it to get out as well. Also there is several different styles of holsters out there inside the waistband, outside the waistband. You have your leathers, your kydex or plastic ones, you have your nylon ones, you also have your hybrids which are going to be a leather and a kydex one. Double point as this one here is as well as single point inside the waistband, double point inside the waistband, outside the waistband. This one here comes with a couple different styles for a paddle or belt holster. This one here has a paddle already on it where it would just simply fit over your pants with, with or without a belt. These ones here do require a belt so that way it has something to clip to. This one here requires the belt to go through the holes on each side. And that's an outside the waistband as well. Then there is also holsters that do not have any sort of clip that the firearm actually just sits in, it would be a level one retention. Therefore, there is no button to hold it in, such as this level two right here, where your firearm actually just simply sits in there. And it can either be carried inside the waistband, in a pocket. Of course, this gun is gonna be a little big for your pocket, but this can be inside the waistband, in a pocket. They also have special rigs where you can put them on your ankle or for females as a garter belt as well, where you would wrap that around your ankle. A women's style is a little bit different than this for the garter belt, but basically what it does is it holds around the leg itself. Very good tension on them. And it holds your firearm secure with either one of these style of holsters or another style of holster that's also out on the market. Another way of carrying a firearm is also for females to be purses. They also do make other styles such as um, laptop and tablet cases where there's a holster that goes inside of said purse where the firearm is actually held secure by a Velcro. And it would go inside the purse where there is also Velcro, hook and loop Velcro where it would go inside and hold your firearm secure that way. And they do also make other things such as iPad and laptop cases, as I've said. When picking out your holster, it is something that is operable to you and very comfortable for you. Many people own many different styles of holsters. I myself own probably more holsters than I do firearms, but it also depends on what you dress, how you want to carry inside, outside the waistband. Like I said, how you plan on carrying. If I dress up for the evening, I may carry in a purse. I may carry as a garter belt option. There's also the ankle biter option as well. But you, one thing is for sure with any holsters, you want to make sure that your firearm trigger is completely covered. That is the number one safety thing with any holster that you choose, is you want to make sure that your holster does cover this trigger. So any of these holsters here, if they were to fit this gun properly, they would cover that trigger. This one here does, so does this one here completely covers the firearm trigger. All these products that I am showing you here today, you can find at our Big Shot store. You can come in if you have any questions. If you're still not sure which one you're looking for, if you see something here today that you like, come on in. We'd love to talk holsters with you and get you set up with the right option.